A short, quick, unrehearsed video about subtitles to try to help out Antonio today, where I'll just try to cover the basics quickly. So he's having trouble connecting his Windows Media Player client app to open subtitles. For anyone that doesn't know, there are two ways for to have subtitles on your server. Actual physical subtitles with your media on your server can either be in an external form or an embedded form inside the container file. If they're on the server, any of your users, and of course yourself, can take advantage of them. While a lot of people don't understand um, this difference, every Plex client app can go out to the web and make a temporary connection to a subtitle via open subtitles to bring one in. It may be hit or miss, and that's why when you search for a subtitle, you'll see different choices, and usually they're named for whichever release group ripped the movie and upped it to the internet. So if you've got, I don't know, say say um, Star Trek the original series was just re-released. Well, if they've changed it slightly, a subtitle for a 20-year-old copy may not match the recent release, which means you've got to look for a subtitle that actually syncs. Um, most movies don't have multiple releases, but if you have a movie that had an extended edition where there's extra scenes in it and you've got the subtitle for the first release of it, it's not going to sync up properly with the extended one because that's a longer movie. So right now, let's go into my server. If you go into settings and you go to account, you'll see this section, audio and subtitle settings. This is all for internal subtitles or um, external subtitles that are on the server. Or you can go down to language. Let's see if I can find it. Language. And now this is where I've gone to force foreign audio subtitles to play by default if they are on the server. They have to be on the server. So I prefer my audio track is English. The subtitle mode should be shown with foreign audio. That way the force subtitles load by default and I prefer English subtitles. But again, this is only for subtitles physically on your server. So that being said, let me just give you an example of some movies that already have a subtitle for them. So the original Alien from 1979 has a default subtitle. It's named .eng.srt. It could also be named .en.srt. And then I also have the hearing impaired or the 8SDH version of it, which just has extra information um, for deaf people. So that would be named eng or en.sdh.srt. So let me pull that movie up in the latest HTPC Linux client app that was just released. This is a player app. So if we go and look at more, I can select a subtitle track and you'll see that there's there's also the English SDH and the regular English one already available to select or because I'm using a client app I can search for more. So it didn't find any, um, which maybe there's a problem which is what Antonio's experiencing. But I want to point out if it did find a subtitle here, um, it would not be anything that was, would be permanent to your server. Plex remembers everything. So if you came back to play the same movie, chances are the client app you were using would remember that you went out and got a subtitle. So it would probably be available to finish the movie if you split it up in two viewing habits. But if your cousin Bob is watching at his house, the search you've done yourself did nothing for him. So let's check, let's check another movie. And let's see if it's got to be on my server. Let's see if that feature is broken. All right, so we did search for um, some subtitles, and here they are. And you'll see how they're named by whichever group released them. Um, this is a special assembly cut, 
and I don't remember which Alien 3 I put on my server, but this may or may not match because it's a special version. Let's go try something else. I'll go to more, select subtitle, and you see I only have one on the server for this, and if I search for more, okay, here's a whole bunch. So you can kind of tell what's going on by the name of the file. Of course, World War Z is just a mismatch. Um, and actually, this one here would be the 720 Blu-ray rip. And you just kind of pick one based on what your media is. If you're pulling from this release group, Yiffy, well, that's going to be a good match for you. If this Illuminados is something you recognize as a release group you use, that would be a good subtitle for you. But note that says CD2, and there's no CD1, so that, that really wouldn't be a good subtitle for anybody. So anyway, this is a last ditch effort to connect to a subtitle if you don't have them on your server. And the unfortunate thing is, if you're watching a movie that has foreign audio, that requires a forced subtitle, you don't often turn up a forced subtitle this way, so you'll actually want to go find one. And the best way to find one, in my experience, is um, subscene. and you can just search for any subtitle you want. I just grabbed something that was already in the, the search queue. And again, when you search for a real subtitle for your server, you've got to know the release group that you've acquired the movie from, or if you ripped it yourself, you're looking for more of a generic rip. So this version was ripped from Amazon. This is a true HD 5.1 remix, ver remix version. Um, 1080p RARBG, a Yiffy one. So some, some of these will all match each other, but sometimes whatever release group ripped it, it might be slightly off. And if it's got three seconds difference, you're going to have syncing problems. So the best thing to do about subtitles is research it. Plex has articles on it. Um, you would search for on-demand subtitle search. Um, that would be how you would do it through the player app. And if you want to actually add subtitles to your server, it would be adding local subtitles to your media. And I, I only want this type of subtitle, the .srt ones, because that's the most compatible. These will not cause a transcode just to use a subtitle. You, you get what you get with a REST. And if you go to the open subtitle site, um, most likely it's going to be an SRT subtitle, subscene is going to be an SRT subtitle. So that's really the most compatible across all player apps. So I don't know why Antonio is having problems searching for him, but the, the latest brand new Linux player app that was just released is not having an issue finding them. And I just wanted to make sure he understood the difference between getting a temporary connection through the player client app versus actually having a subtitle on his server. Thanks for watching. Happy Plexing.